family and friends. We are here today in this beautiful setting facing the St. Susanna Mountains to celebrate the love and commitment that Alexis and Ken share. Alexis, I want to start by saying I love you. Apparently in my vast vow research, I have learned that apparently people forget to say that. And if anyone up here is going to forget something, it would be me. But I know that I can say that with complete confidence because I love you more than not just anyone I've ever met, but more than I ever thought I was capable of loving someone. That is how I knew, at only two months in, that you were something special and I had to do everything I could to keep you. From the first time we met, you were instantly everything that I was looking for. Extremely intelligent, enormously attractive, and what I have come to learn, sometimes excruciatingly persistent. <laughs> you wouldn't even let me drag my feet and stall our first date so that I could get over my illness that I picked up in Liverpool. But even as uncomfortable as that was, it was incredibly worth it. I could tell I was going to really enjoy spending time with you and getting to know you. I'm not perfect. I've had my fair share of, I'll call them orange flags. <laughs> but you've helped me work through them and grow as a person. Since being with you, you've made me a better man. You pushed me to be a better version of myself. You make me want to strive for bigger and better things and experiences in life, just so that I can try to keep up with how amazing of a person you are. Who I am will never be good enough for what I think you deserve. But I promise every day to get, to, to get closer. I promise to do everything I can to make you as happy as possible. Whether that is planning our ritual date night at the trendiest restaurants, traveling to the corners of the earth to explore different countries, hanging with all your friends at some event, or just cooking you dinner while you're overly stressed with work. My new goal in life is to make sure you enjoy yours to the fullest. That star on my arm now has new meaning. You are my star. As you know, I wrote my vows the day after my sister's marriage about one year ago. This 
small shout out to Danielle and Evan, who had the most beautiful ceremony and who have the most inspirational marriage. Well, I always thought writing vows would be hard and nerve wracking, but they were the easiest thing for me, which to me shows just how much I love you. Ken, I love you from the moment we wake up and I scoot over to your side of the bed <laughs> to the moment we go to bed and I'm still on your side of the bed <laughs> so we can cuddle. <laughs> I love your passion. I love that you wake up at 4 a.m. to watch a Liverpool game and that you stay up until 11 p.m. to play soccer, even though it ruins my sleep. <laughs> There is one thing I know for sure. The Levies, not, the Levies are not good at decision making. <laughs> whether it's deciding between Duke versus Berkeley for college, whether I wanna go to medical school, if I should go to LA or New York for residency, or more recently, where I should go for fellowship. All of the big decisions in my life have come with many headaches, heartaches, and sleepless nights but the decision to date and marry you was always a no-brainer. I choose you every single day. As we begin our life together, in front of all of our closest friends and family, I vow to love you every single day. I promise to be kind to you, to be patient with you, and to be forgiving of you to the best of my ability. <laughs> <laughs> Even after a tough day at work, when we both know my patience has diminished. <laughs> I promise I will stand by you through the rough times and celebrate with laughter and champagne for all the joyful times. I promise that I will try harder to wash the coffee grounds out of the sink. <laughs> I promise to try to keep your side of the bathroom counter clean. <laughs> Although I do dream of a bigger bathroom counter <laughs> in our future. <laughs> I promise to be dedicated to you, to support your dreams and aspirations, including the current dream of becoming a YouTube star <laughs> while building a car, <laughs> and to be by your side at all times. Alexis, you have made me and everyone around you very proud. You are a great people person. Your laugh is infectious. You will be an amazing wife, oncologist, daughter, and friend. And the fact that so many of your friends from literally every era of your life have joined us today is a great tribute to you and I know how much you appreciate it. I had no idea that there was going to be so much romance in the vows that he exchanged today with Alexis. This isn't the kid that I raised if you know me, I'm not very romantic and not very emotional, or at least I do a good job of hiding it. But Ken has blossomed, and I think it's a very large part due to Alexis.
I'm very helpful, uh, happy to welcome you, Ken, into the family, knowing you will be a wonderful partner for Alexis. So let us raise our glasses to the newlyweds. May your love shine bright, your bond grow stronger, and your journey be filled with everlasting joy. Cheers to love, laughter, and a lifetime of happiness. Alexis and Ken are such an amazing match. Ken brings out the best in Alexis, and he's able to keep up as they hike, travel, ski, and go around the world together. I'm beyond happy for you both, and so excited to welcome Ken into the family. And Alexis, Living thousands of miles apart means we haven't had too many opportunities to get to know each other. But from the first day I met you, it was obvious that Ken had found his equal. You understand Ken like no other, and your kindness, grace, and unwavering support truly has brought out the best in my brother. And I must say, you do make a hell of a power couple. I mean, an aerospace engineer and an oncologist, like, wow. Alexis and Ken make an amazing match. They can spend all day being active, do an eight mile hike, then play tennis, and still have energy to go out for drinks and dancing in the evening. I'll join in for the dancing part in the, in the evening. <laughs> Jokes aside, Lex, I'm so grateful to be your maid of honor, to have you as a sister, and also as a lifelong friend. Grandma and I are so happy to be here at your beautiful wedding and the official start of your marriage. We have 65 years of experience being married. And we heartily recommend it. So congratulations, Lexi. Congratulations, Ken. We love you both. We are so proud of you. And we wish you a long, healthy, wonderful life together. I promise to show you that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. I look forward to starting the next adventure with you, knowing how amazing this one has been. And I promise no matter how bad the food may be, I will never debate being airlifted out. I love you. Ken, you are smart, handsome, fun-spirited, dedicated, and selfless. You are the best thing that has happened to me, and you are the most perfect partner that I could have imagined. I will eat the crust on your pizza and the potato skins on your potato all the time. <laughs> I love you. So now, by the power vested in me, it is now my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. 